Hi, this is Jamal Stem. I'm Darylin Cochran. I'm Stacy Capone. And, and you're, you're watching, watching The, the Cinema, Cinema Couch. Hi guys, welcome back to the Cinema Couch. Today we're talking about Inescapable, which comes out February 22nd. I'm joined by my beautiful guests, Darylin and Stacy. Guys, what did you think of the trailer? Well, I I think it's definitely something I want to see. Mm -hmm. I love Marissa Tamai. She has, hasn't been around in a while, so it'll be good to see her. It looks like she's playing a really good part. Mm -hmm. um, it looks suspenseful. It looks suspenseful. Um, it's intriguing. This guy's is accused of being a spy, so he leaves Damascus, right. and he comes back because he finds out his daughter's missing. Turns out she may be a spy, so we don't know that yet. <laughs> they mentioned it in the preview. I'm not giving anything away. Right. They mentioned that in the preview that she may be a spy too. So he's, you know, on a manhunt for his daughter, and it looks, it looks, looks good, interesting. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think it looks really interesting too. I think it's kind of like a, seems to be a cross between of like the born identity. And homeland with a little bit of like taken. Oh, well, yes. yes. no, like, taken. Right. You know? Uh, with <laughs> yeah, a lot of bit of taken. Okay, bye. Right. I think yeah. if taken didn't exist, this movie wouldn't exist. <laughs> when I watched this preview, all I thought was, man, Lee is gonna be pissed when he sees this preview. But the only thing <laughs> But the father is more believable as a spy and going right. after his daughter. Right. Oh, you you say Lee Nees is not believable? Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying that it seemed a little extra. Yeah. Really? But we're yeah, not talking about that movie. Yeah, yeah. We're talking yeah, about that movie. Okay, all right. I mean, we but, can't argue and say this is like in in takenable. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Alexander uh, Siddig is the star of this film. Mm -hmm. You guys, I remember from Star Trek. He was a Star Trek. Oh, he was. He was, he was a Star Trek Which doctor. Um, Next generation. It was Next, Next generation, generation, or was it? Or... No, no, I think it was. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Deep Space Nine. He was right. Doctor, okay. Yeah. After he was really good in that. He's done a couple. Live long and prosper. Yeah, he's Sorry. done a couple of things since then. <laughs> it live long and prosper. I don't, yeah, yeah, no, you know, Star Trek. I don't Star Trek. You don't know Star Trek? Not so much. I know Star Trek. Well, I know the old school Star Trek. Mm -hmm. the, after the newer ones. The newer ones. Yeah, didn't get into Star Trek. These Space Nine has a black captain, so, so that's why I was watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and wasn't Whoopi Goldberg in it? Yeah, she was. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg is the next generation, so you know. The Bob Burton. Yeah, the Bob Burton. There's some black people in there. Uh, Lighting with space, it's cool. Um, anyway, back to so Marissa Tomei. Who doesn't really look like Marissa <laughs> the, Tomei. The, the look or sound like Marissa Tomei. Yeah. Well, she's doing her accent. She's playing, you know, the she, She's really acting in this film. Yeah. So I'm, I'm proud yeah. of Marissa Tomei. Yeah. 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 Uh, she's acted in other films. Yeah, I mean, she's like acting. Her, you know, I like Marissa Academy Tomei. Award for, um, mm -hmm. what was the movie? My Cousin Vinny. Um, My Cousin Vinny. My biological clock is ticking <laughs> like this. So oh, this case is going yeah. on. Yeah, I'm getting that. But she's a great actress. She's a great she's actress. A great actress. She's, I, I, I like she's her. actually a really big fan of the show. She's probably watching right now. Hi, Marissa. Um, <laughs> really? What's up? Yeah. Uh, everybody's a fan of the show. Don't you know that? Uh, <laughs> Joshua Jackson's also this film. Who everybody knows from Fringe. Joshua Jackson's awesome in Fringe. You guys watch the Fringe show? It's pretty cool. I recommend Fringe on Netflix if you guys. Fringe. I will check it out. Fringe is really good. It's a show it's or a TV show. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. So those are the three main stars, and they're really good. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Inescapable, would you see it in the theaters? Catch it on Netflix, skip it all together. I would, I think I will see that one in the theater. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I like to see action films in a theater. I think it's more exciting with the surround sound and everything, yeah. and that to me seems like a movie you'd want to see in the theater. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna disagree with you guys. I'm gonna really? say Netflix, just because I think I know where this movie's going. I think yeah. it's one of those movies where I think I know what's gonna happen at the end. Well, I mean, that's what he's going to get his daughter back. I know, but if it, if Michael Bay isn't blowing something up, then the theater's, you know. Well, you know, I don't want to see Michael Bay blowing things up in the theater. That's a waste of $10 or 12 or 14 whatever it is now. <laughs> yeah. 16 I don't know. Yeah, so he yeah, is. might really find out that the daughter really is a spy, and who knows? I, you think you be might be twist? surprised. Okay. Let us guys know what you think, but I predict there's not going to be any twists in this movie. I think he's going to save his daughter, and then that's it's it. Be a twist. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.
If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for our show, leave them in the comment box below. And log on to our website, thecinemacouch.com, for links to all of our social media. If there's a movie you'd like us to review, hit us up on Facebook. We'll make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe! Subscribe.